significant confidence builders was, and I've shared this story, but for those that haven't heard it before, but was one during a very severe setback for me. And, and it really was an awful experience. And, you know, I was traveling and I know you've heard this, this story, Michelle, but um, I was at a hotel down, down in the Southern part of the country. Um, and I had level eight anxiety the whole way there. I had been in DARE for probably about three to four years, um, three years maybe. Um, and it was, it was a major setback. I had all night long, major severe panic attacks, high level anxiety. I couldn't eat. Um, I just wanted to go home. I remember looking online. If there were late plane flights, I was going to cancel my meeting for the next day. Um, I will tell you this, that at that point in my uh, journey, I did have the ability to have some compassion about what I was experiencing. Um, and so as a result of it, although I didn't uh, feel all that great, <clears throat> I didn't <clears throat> necessarily beat myself up all that much either. I had a meeting the next day and I sat in this boardroom with a client of mine. It was a two hour meeting. I may have heard two minutes of it. Um, I was so self-absorbed. It's amazing the talent that we have to keep, think that we have engaged conversation with somebody and they really think you're listening to them. And you have these moments of being able to, to plug in words here and there and they think that you're hearing everything. Meanwhile, if you knew what I was experiencing right now that I had a mm -hmm. level of high anxiety and I'm just trying to find a way out the door to the toilet in case I throw up, you would uh, say you're crazy, Patrick. You got it all together. You look like you're doing wonderful and, and all of these things. It's just really amazing. So that's a talent, by the way, and that's something you should celebrate. <laughs> um, and I left that room as quickly as I could. I got to the airport as quickly as I could, and I came home. And um, I knew I was going to have to go back there within four days for another meeting. This is my, one of my most significant confident points, confidence points. The old me, had I not had the practice and been where I was at, would have canceled that, four, that meeting that was gonna happen in four days. I would have beat myself up obsessively about how I failed um, and how awful I felt and that I'm not getting this and that what's wrong with me and I'll never get better. I know that setback feeling. I had those. I know early on what setbacks can do to you, the collateral damage that Michelle always referenced. I was that person. I would be, I would be held up for days and weeks and not want to practice anymore because I wasn't getting it. I wasn't going to be moving on. What's wrong with me? I know that internal dialogue and I know that language. But at that stage of my recovery, I had the ability to have some compassion and say, Patrick, as awful as that was, I know that you're getting better. And, and I know I'm, I'm just amazed that you were able to do it. And you're going back. And you're going back, you son of a bitch. And you're going to tell this anxiety to go kiss your ass. That's what you're going to do. Okay. And you're going to even go a step further. You're going to, you're going to get the same hotel room. Mm -hmm where you had panic attacks all night long and you're gonna confront that anxiety and you're gonna look it square in the eyes and you're gonna say, I'm okay, bring it on. I am not gonna run from you anymore. I am not gonna be afraid of you anymore and I'm gonna feel everything I need to feel. You are not gonna control my life anymore. You're just not. While you live stream it on Facebook to the D.A.R.E. groups. I did. that part. I did. <laughs> I did, but you know what happened? You know what reward I received on the way home was this message that I got that I'm not afraid of this anymore. Ah, oh, wow. And that's it, right? That's it. All the work leads up to this moment. Yeah. And if, had I not done it in my most painful moment, I would have lost that opportunity. So when you're feeling like you can't go anymore, when you're feeling overwhelmed, when you're feeling it's just too much, that's the time you get out and you go practice and you tell this son of a thing that I'm the hunter and I'm gonna feel what I need to feel and I'm gonna experience what I need to experience, but I am not gonna let you have me sit on my couch 
all day long and say, I can't do this anymore, or I'm never going to get it, or why is this happening to me? That's when you need to get out and do it. Right. Because once you confront that with the tools, not white knuckling it, there's a big difference. I wasn't white knuckling it. I was allowing the feeling. I was allowing the sensation. I was allowing the intensity of it. I was allowing myself to feel uncomfortable. And it, it was this moment as I'm going back to the airport and getting on the plane saying, I'm not afraid of you anymore. You yeah. Don't scare me. And if you want to be here, great. Right. And not, not afraid anymore. Not afraid of being afraid that, anymore. That, exactly. You know, and that's, I, I want you guys to just, I know we got to wrap up, but like, stop trying to eliminate fear. You, you can't because you kind of want to feel afraid when there's a murderer chasing you down the street. Like get rid of elimination, get rid of feel better, right? Allow yourself to feel afraid. That's it without the fight. The whole point of running towards is to say, I show I am safe by my actions while I feel fear. And it's the behavior of act Here's as if thing, not Michelle. danger. Here's the thing. If everything was fine and that felt great. And I did be no practice. Yeah. I wouldn't have gained anywhere near what I gained in that painful moment that I needed to experience to truly look it in the eye. I, if I, I'm, I'm grateful I didn't have a nice experience with no anxiety that I could call you the following Wednesday and say, M Michelle, I must be moving a thousand steps forward I down there and I had no anxiety <laughs> and I can't wait. I must be cured. I mean, I, I, works. I got it, Michelle. Thank <laughs> goodness. No. No, Patrick, you got it because you were in the depth of its pain. Yeah. And you looked it square in the eyes, not in fighting it, not in white knuckling it, in truly allowing and accepting and, 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 and uh, 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 sitting in the discomfort of it. Right. Anxiety right. lost its power. And that's, so when you're feeling overwhelmed, when you're feeling enmeshed in it all, when you feel like I can't do it because I'm so, that's when you should do it. That's when you need to say, you know what? I love what it is saying about your values and who you want to be and what your potential is. And these are the things you need to attach yourself to when you're sitting in that muck and, and that anxiety is wanting you to stay stuck and say, hold it. You know what? Maybe this is my moment. This is really when I can confront this in a way mm -hmm. that helps me. And that might get me to the other side. Not until I wait till I feel good. Five days exactly. of feeling good. Now I'm ready to go to Greece. Now I'm ready. Oh shit. Oh my God. I've got major panic. I wasn't ready. Back. I wasn't ready. Bad again. I wasn't ready. I wasn't Next ready. Year. Better go back home again. It doesn't work <laughs> like that. So it gets back to my initial message. You gotta practice and you gotta practice. And you gotta practice and you gotta practice. And you gotta work those tools while you're practicing. And separation occurs, observing occurs, confidence occurs a I don't care anymore occurs. And when you don't care anymore, that's when you get freedom. Right, right. And just to leave off on one line, yeah, you, you, everybody's like, I just want to get there. I want to get there where I don't care. Somebody's going to write that guarantee. They're probably already typing it and now deleting it. They're like, oh shit, Michelle said what I was going to say. <laughs> I want to not care. You accidentally not care when you let yourself care without fighting that you care. Okay, does that make sense? Like then you stop caring about something when you stop trying to stop caring about something. That's weirdly how it works. I wish it worked different. It would be much easier, but because it doesn't, it's learning how to not fight that you care. It's okay that you care. It's the fight of caring that's kind of keeping you stuck. So, um, so Patrick, I'm glad you stuck around for the call. I hope you guys found it helpful to bring on some other people. If you guys like this, we'll add in more people each month. Um, you guys have any suggestions if you'd like to pop on um hey we're open we're all these programs happen because of feedback from all the members so we'll just keep adding and doing things as more suggestions keep coming in all right and i think we basically answered pretty much every a couple like little miscellaneous things but i think they were really like all addressed so oh say that again about the not caring oh guys i'm not good at saying things twice um Caring less comes. You, if you're trying so hard to not care, right? Like you stop caring so much. What did I say? When you 
when you let yourself care without fighting the fact that you care. Say, yeah, I, I care that I'm scared. Yeah, I hate being scared, but I'm not gonna fight being scared. I do care, but I'm not gonna fight that I care. And it's this that what keeps it here. The fight is what keeps it here. When you let go of the fight, you allow this to fade. Okay, that's how things start to fade away. So I don't know if I said that right the second time, but Cynthia, luckily this is being recorded. It will be emailed to you guys. Um, so just fast forward up to this point, And I think I said it better the first time. <laughs> Patrick, thank you so much for attending the call. It was thank fun. Thank you, Patrick. Thanks for having me, everybody. Yeah. Guys, be like Patrick. And you can find more of Patrick in Dear Advanced. Right, Patrick? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Michelle, you want to say a word or two about Dear Advanced? Oh, yeah. Come join us in Dear Advanced. It's our nice yeah. little family. Patrick yeah. and like 200 something other people. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you guys like this, I know I, we try and say this for people that come on that might be new. Um, we have other support systems out there. We have a boot camp coming up for people that still don't quite get the concepts of DARE and want like a nice solid foundation. It's, it's 10 days and you'll get like, you know, messages and audios from Barry every day and every evening. Um, it comes with three group calls over the course of 10 days. Um, so that's boot camp. Um, and then for people that really kind of get the concepts that maybe have had one-to-one -one calls with one of us or have had um, a boot camp or challenge week or get it, um, Dare Advance is really to help you with the implementation of it, right? So once everybody gets it in their head, it's more of like a support system to say, okay, back into life, help each other practice, right? And help each other fine tune areas where we might get stuck. So yes. if you guys, I mean, you're already paying for the app. I mean, I'm not selling anything here, but really it's $10 a month for the app. It's $25 a month for Dare Advance. And it includes the app and it includes three group phone calls a month. Um, now we offer five to choose from. Um, I run Zoom two calls. of them. Zoom calls. Five Zoom Zoom calls. group Zoom calls <laughs> a month. Um, Barry runs one of them. Aida runs two. I run two. Um, and members of Dare um, Advance, you're welcome to join um, three of those. Um, they're all recorded just for Dare Advance members. There's a private little Facebook group. It's crazy. People have flown around the world to meet each other. Patrick can attest to that, right? Members who weren't leaving their homes are now doing marathons with each other in different countries. It's wild. And it's, it's just nice. Such a lovely group. It's so lovely, so wonderful. You know, it's so helpful to be in a group of people, do not feel so isolated and lonely. It is <clears throat> so relieving to talk with somebody where you don't need to, to use much words because that other person exactly understands what you're going through. This is so, so helpful. And all of them are so supportive and kind and lovely. So yeah, uh, yeah try it out. Would so love if to you'd like to sign up for Dare Advance, go on the website, darerespons.com um, under... Um, coach programs um and um, their the website's <laughs> being changed so dare response you'll find it look for dare advance oh, yeah so just make sure message support um so that you can sign up for dare advance and you can cancel the the premium app um you shouldn't be paying for two things at the same time dare advance includes all of that stuff it includes the app so for like 15 more dollars a month you get three hours of group coaching with like us so and it's fun and it's nice. Um, so uh, yeah, I think that's it. And if anybody wants to book one-to-one -one calls, we offer one-to-one -one calls. Um, there, we just have a lot of, we got a lot of things out there. Nobody needs to do any of no. these things. This is the crux of dare. All the information is out there. Check out the YouTube videos. We're like, not hiding subscribe anything. To the channel. We're not hiding <laughs> anything. <laughs> We're not going to give you the real answer. If you give us a certain amount yeah. of money, it's just more no. support for people that might like just a little more help along the way, a little more motivation. Um, so, uh, so guys, see you next month. Maybe we'll have a new panelist come on and um, keep posting on the D.A.R.E. pages and we'll see you all soon. Bye everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye guys. Bye.